Hi everyone, this is Daniel Scranton and I'm on a channel for you today and I don't know who's going to come through at this point. <clears throat> oh! another level of consciousness here in the ninth dimension. And so are you there in the fourth. Every step forward for you is a step up in terms of your vibration and the level of your consciousness. You don't ever have to worry about regressing, backsliding, or remaining stagnant for that matter, because you are always progressing with each and every breath. Now, you want to understand that your evolution does not have to involve pain and suffering just as it doesn't have to involve chaos and cataclysmic events. You want to understand that you are there to determine how you grow spiritually. You can grow very fast through meditation, but you can also grow by doing something that you love. 
You can grow spiritually by falling in love. Now, of course, you do set up challenges for yourselves. But those challenges are there to remind you of how strong you are, how powerful you are, how capable you are of overcoming anything. And that is true because you are source energy beings and nothing less. Therefore, as source energy beings, we invite you to create your experience of your spiritual evolution. And know that nothing outside of you is determining whether or not you evolve spiritually. You can take advantage of an eclipse, a full moon, an equinox, a solstice, or any other event to tune in more to the energies that are always helping you grow and expand but you don't have to wait until anything is going to happen in order to experience your spiritual up-leveling of self. You can decide that you are going to become your higher self today because your desire to do so is so strong and your resistance to achieving that goal is minuscule or non-existent. We tell you this because we don't want you to always feel like you have to wait for the next prediction to come along to tell you that now it is time for you to go to the next level of your consciousness. We also don't want you to think that you have to go to some far off place and take some plant medicine there in order to grow spiritually. You can grow spiritually because you decide that as an awakened soul, that's what you want to do. And again, no one can stop you. And you don't have to wait for anything or anyone in order to take that next giant leap forward for yourself. It is always nice to look forward to something like an eclipse or some other event that will happen in the skies because it gives you something to look forward to and get excited about. Ultimately, you will determine what your experience of that event will be for you. And while many others may tell you it's about this or about that, you will have to decide for yourself what you want to make it about for you. And we promise you, you can take all of the evolution of consciousness that is available to you in a moment that you decide to do so. We are the two. Connecting with you. Oh. <laughs> Hi, everybody.
Namaste. Many blessings to you and yours. I hope you're having a great week. It's actually um, raining again today here in uh, the, the hinterland of uh, where we are, 30 minutes outside Brisbane. And um, it's starting to get quite hot today and, and definitely is humid. Um, I hope you're doing well. Uh, many blessings to you and yours. I, um, I love you all. I appreciate you for tuning in. And please do subscribe to the YouTube if that's where you happen to be watching me right now. Um, I have very few announcements to make uh, for a change. I've got the upcoming satsang on ET contact, physical ET contact, where in my video uh, that I made yesterday, I said the wrong date. It's actually on the 28th, which is Thursday, 3.45 p.m. Pacific, 6.45 Eastern time. On Zoom, you show up, you pay what you want for that one. There's a minimum of 3.33. Um, but you pay what you want and then you show up or you don't on Zoom. It's up to you because we, um, we do uh, record these things and send out the recordings afterwards. So if you um, can't make it live, you can still attend by the recording. If you do want to show up live and you don't want to appear on a video camera, you don't have to. You can shut yours off. Um, you can ask questions. You can write them in. You can verbalize them. There'll be a guided meditation at the end where I take everybody through um, a, a group meditation on ET contact. So it'll be teaching, offering insights and processes to connect with ETs, physical and non-physical, but the emphasis will be on our physical contact as individuals and as a collective of humankind. So that's at danielscranton.com slash satsang, S-A-T-S-A-N-G to sign up for that. Um, or there's a link down below on YouTube in the description. And if you're not watching on YouTube, um, I invite you to go to my YouTube channel and um, subscribe to the channel so you can get all of these uh, videos like this one um, suggested to you by YouTube. Or you can even do the little bell icon, which means you'll get an email every time I make a new video. Um, then I've got the Learn to Channel Mega Course starting April 17th at danielscranton.com slash mega, M-E-G-A, where you go to sign up for that big long course of nine classes, two hours per class. So that's a total of 18 hours of class time. Each class is separated by a month, so you have time to practice what you learn and come back to the next class ready to learn more and go further with your channeling. So over that span, by the end, I hope that everybody in the class will be channeling. And I know that many people have channeled for the first time while taking a class or a course with me. So um, it starts April 17th. It goes once a month, goes into 2025. It's also all on Zoom. Like I said, two hours each class, all recorded, all sent out. And there's a private Facebook group for the members of the class or the course, which is optional. So you don't have to be there. There's no instruction being given there, but it's a place where you all can connect with each other if you want to, because practice is important. And if you have a buddy to practice with, that can make it easier to get that feedback from that person, have that person ask you questions and so on. So again, that's danielscranton.com slash mega, and there's a link down below. I always have my pay what you want items in my store too. There's a link down there for that, danielsgrant.com slash store, S-T-O-R-E, uh, to check out the new ones. And I'll be putting new ones in there today, tonight, at some point, because I have time, because um, uh, I'm all alone in the house and I can work my little tail off <laughs> when I'm all alone in the house. Um, well, I'm not alone, obviously, Kaliandra's there, you saw her, and her sister, Nuka. Um, who you'll, you may never see on camera because she's so shy. Uh, what else is going on here? Talea is, we're still doing a lot of inside out, acting out of those characters from that uh, wonderful movie. She's, oh, she's been getting better at drawing. So she's drawing now and it's so cute because you can actually make out a person, a face, <laughs> arms and legs. Um, and she'll tell you who it is after, and it's just, you know, the most adorable thing. And listening to, to countless stories on Spotify. So there are these people 
women, uh, all women so far, who will read stories, children's books, out loud, and um, and sometimes have like their daughter with them, and sometimes set the, set these to music, but um, they'll just read the story and put it and record it and put it on Spotify. And there's uh, several channels that we listen to for that entertainment. So she's been into that too, and she's off right now at her grandmother and grandfather's also known as Boo Boo and Lolo in uh, Filipino, or I don't know if that's um, Tagalog or if those are words from Papua New Guinea, I'm not really sure. But um, anyway, that's where they are. And um, I've been streaming, let's see, I've, I've watched the latest Curvy Enthusiasm uh, episode and um, still working my way through 10 year old uh, Tom and I want to get to the Strange New Worlds new season, season two at some point, because I do have a subscription to Paramount that I should use. Um, oh, I saw some great movies while I was flying to and from the US, by the way. Somewhere in Queens was a great one. Um, what else did I really like? Oh man, there was another one. I know I liked Blue Beetle and I liked Bros, but I loved Somewhere in Queens and one other one too. That really made me cry. <laughs> I can't remember the name of it now. Um, Dream, what was it called with Nicolas Cage? Dream Scenario. That one was interesting, but ultimately a very sad and somewhat unsatisfying movie. So I won't recommend that one. But it's interesting. Um, it was interesting enough to keep my attention. And I know I will think of this other movie that I really loved um, at some point. But anyway, I can, I can remember a movie I saw on another flight that I loved called um, Where the Crawdads Sing, which I thought was great. Um, anyway, that's what's going on here, essentially. And uh, I hope you enjoyed my video. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Many blessings. Namaste. See you back here again tomorrow. I'll make another one tomorrow. Okay. So subscribe if you're on YouTube. Anywhere else you are, just come back or go to YouTube and find me and subscribe there too. Bye-bye.